I've always been someone who went by the book. I've always been someone who followed the rules. Someone who wanted to be a, 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 a productive and honest member of society. I always wanted to stick to my religion, read my books, and just be productive. Okay? I recently attended a festival. A festival for um, religious harmony. I took a um, few of my wives and um, I went there dressed nicely. They took me into a room and told me, if you enter this room, they can cure you of all your bodily ailments. Recently, I've been having pains in my joints, small, small pains in my And I, I believe in the miracles. I said, okay, let me go and try. You know, they did. They took my ear. And he said, let me just whisper the secret to you. You know what they did? Pierce my ear! Have you seen this? I can't remove it. Forever. People know I attended that festival. Who to, did they tell, did I tell you that I want the world to know I attended this festival? What if they've written dumb, dumb? So upset. So now, you know, I have to... I've decided to, I don't know how I'm going to hide. But anyway, anyway, I'm still me. I'm still Martin and Bebu. And Martin and Bebu will never ever change. I still have my beliefs. I don't believe that any piercing on my ear will ever change me. I still have my beliefs. And I, they are strong. As you can see, I still wear my national dress. This national dress was passed down to me from my father. If you can see the inscription, zoom, zoom, zoom for me, cameraman. Inscription, okay, okay, you can't see it. But the inscription there was passed to me from my great grandfather. This outfit, can you see? This is snugly. Eh? Usually when I have some money, eh, after I've been paid, after a long, if you see, normally I work on the farm. So when I'm weeding, eh, after a long, maybe a few, maybe, Okay, maybe six years, I can make maybe 200 pounds, something like that. After the six years of labor, I can go and buy some food. Because normally what I do, normally they, they give you your rations in the farm. But normally if I can go and buy some proper food, from a chop bar, something, you know, maybe I'll take my wives, we'll go in there, but have some meat and some yam, and have, you know, some palm wine, some stew. And <laughs> after that, I can't, I can't even wear this. This my stomach could be sick. Like this. But now I'm still in the, the, the period of working, so I've lost a little bit of of a uh, of um, well, you know, uh, guess around my, my midsection. So anyway, if they show you festival where it says um reach your miracle and drive this old cars, <laughs> don't go to that festival. <laughs> so see you have miracles. Yes, you're here. Have you seen this thing? How can I even remove it? What if I'm cursed? Eh? What if devils are running around in this area? What should I do? Anyway, like I said, I'm still me. If I'm going to take a, a, a picture or a photograph, I can take from this side, isn't it? Because then they won't see any. If I take from this side, maybe I can see um, the sun was shining. I, I don't know. But I don't have to lie. You understand me? I don't have to. I have to tell the truth. So maybe I should just tell like this. I don't have to expose myself. Mm. So what I want to do now, I want to start designing. Maybe if I if I if I set up a bar and a store, I can start designing. You know, clothes of a similar fashion. See, so other men can feel modern. <laughs> because this this is quite modern. You know, normally in the olden days, so maybe they'll have a wrap. You know, you see the ladies thing, you have a wrap around your shoe. But you see, now this is more modern. You can have, um, you know, a bit of air. You know, in, here in Africa, it's a bit dusty and a bit, you know, hot. So you like to have some air flowing. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, this head wrap, let me tell you the story of this head wrap. 
I've been working in the field for so many years, and I, you know, I, I wanted something which represented where where I had come from. And I come from the the, the fields, and the, the fields are very green. So when something green made me feel like, hmm, I'm respecting that town. Understand me? Respecting those towns. If I have something here which shows you, I want to show you what my cutlass looks like. When I was weak, there's nothing here which shows cutlass. Anyway, cutlass is so it's kind of this shape. So, so 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 I feel like me and my, me and grass we are like brothers. We are like brothers because. I spent so much time on the grass cutting it, and you know, so I wanted something which um, uh, showed that I was I was I was a true farmer. You understand me? Um, children of today, they they don't like to go to farm. They don't like to kill the chicken. They don't like to pound the yam. They don't like to make the stew. Right? All they know is school, school and book. <laughs> They think because these modern times everything is education. In our days, we have to put the farm. Hmm? These hands, have you seen these hands? They work. For if, if you want to find a wife, mm -hmm. they'll test your hand to see if it's hard. If it's hard, that means you can protect the house. If lions come, what will you do? If lions come and you have soft hands, do you think that the lion will eat you? You have hard hands, you can strangle them. Do you know how many lions are strangled? Plenty! Plenty lions! All my family will be dead. <laughs> 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 <laughs>